Greetings animal lovers and welcome to How to Help Animals. In today's video, we discuss 7 easy ways to help birds during the winter. Did you know that birds use their body heat to warm up the air between their feathers? Even though feathers provide fantastic insulation against the cold weather, birds also become cold during the winter. Birds puff up their feathers to retain heat. Smaller birds lower their body temperature to 44 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit during the night to preserve energy. Birds are very resistant to the cold, but we can still help them to manage. Are you ready for the 7 tips on how you can help the birds in your area during winter? Let's go! Number 1 Make sure the birds have access to running water. Did you know birds still take baths during winter? They don't do this because they're superficial. They do this to take care of their feathers. Their feathers are dirty and oily and prevent the feathers from insulating as well. Birds don't like to use snow as a drinking source. It takes warmth and energy to convert the snow into a liquid inside their body. Place a large bowl where birds can easily sit and drink or take a bath. Make sure to change the water often. Number 2. Having a great shelter is important. Birds need a place where they can preserve their energy. When the birds fly against hard winds looking for shelters, they need a place to sit and rest. When you're looking for a bird shelter or building one yourself, try to go for one as wide as possible. That way, multiple birds can use it at the same time. Before installing your shelter, you need to think about where the wind is coming from. Notice which side there isn't any wind on and place the shelter there. If there are cats nearby, make sure to put it as far up as you can. Number 3. Keeping the bird feed dry. Keeping the seeds dry is important if you want the birds to eat from them. Some feeders have drainage holes in the food cabinet, but also a small root keeping it dry. If the feed becomes wet, it will soften and quickly get moldy. Cleaning mold from a bird feeder is not a picnic, I promise you. Number 4. Make sure the feeder is refilled constantly. Birds can be both time-consuming and costly. However, it's very important to ensure that there's always some food in the bird feeder. You don't have to fill the entire feeder. Half-full feeders are still okay, just as long as they're not empty. The birds will stop returning if they're always met with an empty feeder. Number 5. Beware of the thieves. By thieves, I mean squirrels and other small animals. As you know, squirrels also enjoy nuts and seeds. The waste the birds are leaving welcomes other wildlife and invites them up the bird feeder. When selecting a bird feeder, Make sure that it has a protective bottom that hinders the squirrels from getting to the feeder. Or why not check out our other video, How to Help Squirrels During Winter, link in the description. Number 6. Make it accessible and safe. Making the food accessible is very important, but also the safety of birds. Make sure the feeders aren't too close to either bush, trees, or fences. Predators may hide and take the birds by surprise. The best place for a bird feeder is where they feel the safest. Hanging it up against a wall, which no animal can climb up to, or high up in a tree are examples of where you can hang your feeder. Be aware that squirrels are excellent jumpers. Number 7. Where can I feed the birds that don't like seeds and nuts? There are some birds out there who enjoy the taste of flesh more than nuts, seeds, and berries. For example, the American crow, the chickadee, the mockingbird, and flicker. For the entire list of what most common birds' favorite foods are, check out the link in the video description. What can you get for these birds? You can give these birds freeze-dried mealworms. You can also give them uni pate, which is a mix between berries and insects. And there you have it. 7 easy tips on how you can help your local birds during winter when they need it the most. 
If you have more tips on how to help birds during winter, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and learned something. For more helpful tips on how to help animals, visit howtohelpanimals.com.